How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Minecraft Let's Play. Today is a big, big day. It's going to be a very exciting day. We're going to be building something pretty incredible with a whole load of cobblestone. So I just wanted to make sure I had all the resources required and we definitely do. So let me explain the project for today. First of all, how are you all doing? <laughs> I hope you're doing wonderful. I certainly am. It's been a great few weeks for me. But not for you guys because I have not been uploading properly and it's it's because there's been a few things that have been keeping me from that and I've been keeping you guys updated and I think you understand so I, I appreciate your patience I'm happy to finally be back to the schedule and uh, get things going again we've got some cool stuff coming so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already last episode we built this awesome windmill and I added some texturing in there uh, I went ahead and added I believe white concrete mixed in with the white wool and I don't know if I like it yet it adds a little bit more detail so I kind of do uh, so yeah that's that's where we're at with that but I have not had the chance to actually do anything else I've been really busy guys it's very hard to explain <laughs> but anyways today we're gonna be building the keep oh yeah the castle on the hill we're gonna be finally structuring the most important part of this town because we have to episode 100 is getting so close so yeah today we're gonna be doing only a small part of it because it's not entirely planned but I do have the layout and it's gonna be awesome so without further ado let me go ahead and get the blueprint laid out that way we can go ahead and get started so guys grab your snacks and your drinks make sure to subscribe and leave a thumbs up if you haven't already and let's go ahead and get started with the episode Oh man, what am I doing? <laughs> this is gonna be interesting all on its own. You guys can see the whole pattern. It's not that big, it really isn't, but for some reason taking on these big projects is always so scary. All right, let's just get straight into it. I'd like to get as much of the front as done as possible. So here's how this is gonna work. I'm gonna build kind of in cubic format, kind of laying it out, if you know what I mean. And each tower, like this whole building, is gonna be made up of voxels. So five by five squares, or cubes really. So five by five by five cubes, if that makes sense. <laughs> so that being said, we need to go up by, I believe, five blocks here. So, well, actually, hmm, this is already getting confusing. Let's add little pieces to each of these. We're gonna work on this tower first. I'm gonna do a lot of this off camera, so it's not really <laughs> like that big of a deal if we don't get much done on camera here, but hopefully by next episode, we'll just have a whole bunch done. But I'm gonna connect these up, and then we're gonna stack up by five. So one, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna do that on each tower. And you guys know I hate to do these in tutorial format, but this is gonna be a build of a lot of focus, so you'll have to forgive me. So what is this, two? So one, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna probably do another and, and create a bar in the middle. And there's gonna be two of these. So this is how I'm gonna build this whole structure is by creating these wire frames. Now I'm not really a big fan of doing this on normal scale buildings like you know houses, but on large buildings like this, these are very good for planning. So definitely take this, definitely use this to create your builds because it just helps, you know? You'll know the size, you'll know the exact kind of style. That way you can do the decorating last. <laughs> so now that we've got that, we need to do an entirely extra, like add it on segment on top of this, of the same exact scale and everything. And I'm gonna add on these arms. So let me go ahead and create that and I'll get right back with you. Oh, I forgot the one block I needed. <laughs> I mean, actually there's a load of blocks that I need, but I forgot one of the main blocks and I never do that. So you'll probably notice by now, I'm doing only the actual like structure. I'm not adding any decoration. <gasps> oh no, we don't have any. What? That is insane. 
We need stone so bad. Okay, so it looks like we're taking a trip to the cabin, which is just fine because we've got a little teleporting pad, which is always really fun to use. And it's always nice to go take a look back at the cabin. But that's what we've got so far. There's going to be a little bit more height onto it. Uh, I kind of wish I did it a little closer to the mountain here. But to be honest, I'm going to be doing a lot of landscaping, so I'm not too concerned about it. Away! <laughs> here we are, back to the project hub. Cabin project. That is the unnamed town. We still need a name for that one. But cabin project. Boom, here we are. The mailbox, of course. Hello, dog. I wish you could follow me over. But I'm not going to do that because that probably wouldn't be safe. If you guys are new to the channel, this is the project we've been working on for the past few months. It's a big old cabin. So go back a few episodes if you want to check that out. Or just wait until the world tour and you'll see it then. <laughs> Alright, so some stone. We've got a little bit. This will be fine. And now we just need to head on back. That's all we needed. <laughs> and I, a lot of you don't like the fact that I kind of cheat with these little teleportation pads. But to be honest, like... It's, it's kind of easier to do it because, you know, you guys don't want to just see me run back and forth or fly back and forth. It makes it just easier and it, it helps with the flow. So you'll have to forgive me on that. Oh, this is going to be difficult. I can already tell. No. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, wow. I just did that. <laughs> uh, professional. Yes. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. I'm a little humble, but not really. <laughs> All right. Let's create this little tower here. So it's going to be three blocks on these edges going in by one, creating kind of this, you know, uh, what is it? Cylinder pattern. It's a sphere at the start, and then we stack up going up and stuff. So <laughs> up and stuff. That's the new phrase. Okay, so we're going to stack this up by five. So four more blocks will do it. And now we just need to stack this up all the way around and do that. All right, that's pretty much that. And I guess from now we could technically go ahead and add on the roof to this thing, which is a little nerve wracking to be honest, because it's going to be a very interesting design. It fits with these a little bit, but it's it's still pretty difficult to do. Uh, so here's to hoping we can do that correctly. <laughs> I just need to craft a whole load of stairs because this is kind of similar to the sandstone castle I did recently. I don't know if you guys saw that video, but if you didn't, click in the corner of the screen, I think, if I've remembered. <laughs> you can click in the corner of the screen to see that, because that is a great video. And it didn't get much attention, and I wish it did, because like I said, it was a great video. You should check it out if you haven't already seen it. Alright, so let's create just a load of these blocks. Let's get rid of this chicken for a moment, and just try and get everything we need here. All right, so I'm a little concerned. I don't really remember how I do this or how I'm supposed to do this and how I did it in the test run, but I think I'm pretty much just supposed to outline this whole tower with upside down stairs on the fifth layer, just like we're doing now. Uh, this is very similar to the sandstone one, like I said, in that the tower top, I've always found that doing blocks is great, but for some reason doing stairs and the way I'm about to do just throws everything off and it's like a curveball to the game and it looks amazing and I love doing it. So that's what we're going to do for that. And then we're going to fill in the space between that with a full block. So I'm going to, oh no, not a firework. <laughs> we don't need to go flying off right now. All right, so, oh, oh wrong block. We're going to do that and just go around all the way. Now, these inner blocks are totally unnecessary and just a waste of materials, but it's for support when building because it's a lot easier to, you know, place blocks when you have them. And we've got these corner pieces, so definitely, definitely recommend at least filling in the corners. You don't have to fill it in, but you know what I'm saying. So let me go around and do this, and then we will be able to continue. All right, and now we're going to go up by one block. And, you know, hopping around this build is really freaking frightening because, like, <laughs> I see the ground down there and it feels so high up and just jumping like this while twisting. Oh, it's making me dizzy. <laughs> but that's Minecraft for you. So, guys, I've got a question for you. That actually reminds me. I saw this thing recently on Reddit, on the Minecraft Reddit, where someone said that playing Minecraft often makes them feel too dizzy, or at least watching videos of Minecraft. And I want to know, does that happen when you watch my videos and how I can fix it? Because I definitely don't want anyone to be affected by these. I don't want it to really hurt your eyes or anything. 
So please let me know if I can do anything to fix that. <laughs> and if you even experience it at all. But yeah, all right, I need to craft a little bit more things. It looks like it's getting dark. So let me try and get work going on this roof and I'll get back to you once it's done. All right, so I've got the roof on including a cool flag. So those are the colors that I've chosen for this castle. Uh, red and orange, kind of Harry Potter-ish. <laughs> uh, this is not Hogwarts. Oh, Hogwarts, what? No. Restart, bad. All right, so we've got the cap put on, not to be confused with cat, with a T, but P, so cap. Um, this is awkward. <laughs> I've also got a flag and I think it looks really cool. We've got red and orange, kind of Harry Potter colors, which I think fits perfectly with this town. And then of course we've got the red and the poppies, so that's kind of why I did that. More of a coincidence than anything. And I've also detailed everything a little bit more. Uh, so I also filled it in and got the window placement set. So I guess now it's all about just detailing the tower. That way we can kind of continue on and build this whole front face, which I just broke my knees. I don't know if I'm going to have time to do that. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping I can, but you guys, you know, we're only probably 10 minutes into this episode. But to me, I've been recording now for like an hour. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. Okay. So I don't really know what I'm doing here, to be honest. I just want to fill in these windows, which I'm going to do every window base with some wood. I don't know why, but I love it. I think the wood just looks awesome whenever you have grass in front of it, which we don't have any grass, which is weird considering I had so much of it before. I'm just going to tear away at the land because I'm going to do some landscaping after, so I'm not really worried about it for now. So let's go tear through that. That way we have some to use. And what I'm going to do on these little wooden sills is just put some grass in front of it. And then, of course, we'll load it up with some trap doors. And I really honestly think that having wood in front of grass, for some reason, just it brings that whole natural feel of Minecraft that I think is just lovely for building. And I used to hate it but because it just seemed weird, especially on the inside like that. But I don't know, and I'm going to give you the perfect example. So let's fly on down here really quickly, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So I think I've got one over here. Yeah. So for some reason, that just adds a lot of detail. You know, the walls aren't perfect in a the house. There's always going to be some sort of difference in texture and color, and I think that it makes it a little bit more realistic, and I think it looks really cool. It's a good separator. But anyways, on back to the castle. So we've got one window sill basically done. This window is going to be kind of open. Uh, I don't really like the glass for the windows, but I'm just going to do it since I did it in the town. All right, so that is done, I think. Uh, we've got the sign in place, all that going on. Now I want to go ahead and start adding this little separator detail, which is going to go, let's grab some stone so we can scaffold up a little bit. It's going to go right across this horizontal beam, and we're going to break that and come out by um, three blocks. Let's do that. And then, nope, nope, that is not correct. We're just going to do that. <laughs> and uh, so definitely not three, just two. We're going to do the same thing. Nope, oh, bad. Come on. Can't do it. Boom, boom. There. And trap doors, of course, on top of those, uh, except for on the corner piece. I'm going off of a picture for the detail, guys. You guys know how I do. <laughs> and, of course, commentary suffers. Okay, so now I need to go down and grab some spruce wood, and then we'll be able to kind of continue on with the next level. So this is just the start. There is definitely a lot more I'm going to have to do to add detail onto these, uh, but this will at least get us going for now. So let's go ahead and scaffold back up. I wish there was a better scaffolding block. A lot of you have suggested slime, but I just it's expensive. It is very expensive because it's hard to find when you're not patient. <laughs> All right, so let's break that away. I'm just going to do these on every other block. That way we kind of have a, you know, that good old castle, like, you know, structure feel where it's like a pattern, a zigzag almost, uh, kind of fortressy. There we go. So that is done for the separator. I think that looks really good because it's a mixture of wood and stone and just has a good feel, you know, and once we have everything in place, it'll look a lot better. So now I need to go up to the top and add in that window, which uh, shouldn't be too hard. So let's go ahead and climb up there with some stone. I think I have everything I need. I believe so. So let's just climb up there. Now this is going to be a very, very, very bare window. There's no grass going on over here. There is literally nothing but glass here. So that is going to look very boring for now. But once we add a little bit more detail, it'll look a little bit better. And I want to add a few more things to the wall. So you guys know I love to add in these stairs that are just kind of, you know, 
breaking into the wall. It adds a lot more depth, and I think that it's definitely something to consider when building. Uh, it definitely helps separate colors and textures in your wall because it just adds that one extra layer in there, and it's, it's really helpful. And you guys have heard me explain that a million times, so I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I wanted to add that just around the place. And now let me see. I think, if I remember correctly... I don't remember correctly. <laughs> I thought they made an update so that you could actually put stairs beside those now, but I guess not. Uh, so there's not really too many places we can do that on this one. So we'll probably just do one more in the corner and call it a day with that. And then we have one more layer to do, and this one's going to be a little bit easier because it's only a small little, you know, one block window. So we'll do one there. And then just come on with some glass. And that is a totally wrong placement. I don't even know how I did that. Trap door, we need ladders, so let me go ahead and craft those. Boom, boom, and of course we need grass, so boom, and boom. <laughs> Ultimate commentary. I know, I know, trust me, I'm, I'm getting there though, I'm getting there. Oh man, that was close. Ooh, this is too scary for me. Okay, so this is pretty much done. Now I just need to go and add leaves all over it, and that will pretty much be a completed tower as far as the front face goes. Uh, and the green is really going to help set it apart. You guys are going to be blown away by this, I think. So let's just start adding some of those and uh, try and get it to look at least a little decent. So I'm going to do that, and I'll see you guys in just a moment. All right, leaves have been placed, and now there's just one last feature, and that is, of course, an overhang. You gotta have those. I love doing overhangs, but <laughs> they're time-consuming. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to do that. We're gonna start by just basically doing a little simple pattern of uh, these slabs here, doing that, and then taking the trap doors along them, creating kind of a square, nothing too advanced. You guys have seen it a million times and then just bring that down all the way and that's that that is pretty much it it is done this whole tower is completed i don't think there's anything else that i could really add as far as detail goes uh, and then everything else that's added in will make it look complete and i'll be honest i hate the color of leaves i absolutely despise the color of leaves i want it to be more green and really pop so i might go back after this you know an mc edit or something and change the biome just a little bit more into the planes on that but for now it'll work uh, I love it I think it looks awesome and once we add in the extra walls and start getting the more detail placed it'll look fantastic so before we end out the episode I'm gonna try and get as much of this castle built as possible just to show you guys what I'm working with in my brain <laughs> but let me know what you think of this down below and I've also got to kind of <laughs> add more detail and more depth to it because right now it's just a wall or a little facade but that's fine. That's how I build. Leave me alone. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get the other walls placed and possibly the door, and I'll see you in just a moment. All right, guys. So I have got it pretty much done. Er, well, most of it. The wall, anyways. And you can kind of see it over there. And that's what I love is that atmospheric view. So I went ahead and transferred it over to my server and used World Edit to change the biome. And I'm not showing you on purpose. Now, I can change it back. I know you would consider that cheating. But like I said, it's my world, and that's kind of how I want it. And I want this color of leaves. So I went ahead and did that. <laughs> and this is what it looks like. I've added this other tower. We've got this wall going on here. This doorway, I don't know what I want to do with yet. We'll probably do that next episode just to finish off this whole face. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to add one more feature over here, which is going to coincide with the flags. But uh, pretty much the same exact tower design, same size and everything. Just the leaves are kind of wrapped around a different way. But yeah, this is what the new biome looks like. It's the same exact one as over here. I just feel like it fits better. Uh, I'm going to clean it up a little bit later once we're finished with the castle. Because right now, I don't know how big it's going to be and I don't know what all needs to be affected. Is that a llama? This is the first time I've seen one in this world. <laughs> hey, little guy. What's you up to? Tina? No. <laughs> uh, this is legitimately the first time I've ever seen a... Oh, oh no! 
I'm riding a llama. So, yeah, they've been out for a long time, and this is literally the first time I've seen one. It's kind of sad, but anyways, let's go ahead and continue on, even though it's about to get dark. Worst timing ever, System Z. So we're going to add a really cool little feature on this wall here, uh, which I've already got all the resor resources for. We're just going to need to climb up. It's going to be really loud because I've chosen to use leaves as my scaffolding, which I don't know why. <laughs> all right, boom, boom. Done. This whole build is finished. Not really. Far from it, actually. So we're going to do that and then cap them off. Uh, then we're going to add a little fence. This is going to be a flag. That is what we're adding right now. And I've got this all pre-planned, so there's nothing original about it. <laughs> but it should still look pretty good. So let's do that. And I want it to look like it's kind of in the middle of waving. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be kind of cool because of that. We're going to do that there, I think. Yeah, I hope. <laughs> and uh, and then we're going to kind of follow it up with three of these. Make an L shape out of it. Boom and boom. Done. It's done. You probably thought it'd be more difficult than that, didn't you? Not at all. <laughs> all right. And look at that. We beat the sun. Let's try and come over here and get a good view of it. Like I said, this is the finished product other than the doorway. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's not done. It's not done. Uh, I was about to say I love it, but it's not done. We need to try and beat the clock. Come on. I've just got to add leaves to the area in order for it to be finished. That's the last thing I need to do because right now it just looks very bare. And once we add this, it'll look really good. I don't know. I've become addicted to placing leaves, which is definitely not a good thing. It's definitely not a good thing. You don't want to become associated with placing leaves all over the place with your builds because it's just the cheap way out. It doesn't add much to it. Um, well, it does, but a lot of people like to spam them, and that's not good. <laughs> Let me just get a few of them placed, and I think that should be all that we need. And just tower on down here with the noisiest scaffolding ever. And, okay. And then I'd like to kind of add maybe one or two there. Yeah, okay. And I'm sorry, it's really dark. What can I say? <laughs> ah, it's a little too dark. Let me just go sleep, and we'll go take a look at it. All right, this is it. Oh! literally those were leaves <laughs> so I'm gonna walk around and hopefully we'll get a really cool view god I love how this town is turning out alright guys this is the first time we're really seeing it uh, Ooh, you can already kinda see it I love that see that was the whole idea having it up there coming through this grove cuz this is the center of the town guys this is like where it's at this is where all the cool stuff happens in this little park and you can see it that is what I love. That is so atmospheric. And once it's all done and not choppy and broken, it'll look amazing. Oh, man. That looks fantastic. That looks amazing, guys. What do you think? I'd love to get your opinions. Let me just fly and try and get a good angle. And watch this cool stuff. We're going to zoom right through the doorway. Boom. <laughs> Let's come on over here. And there's one other view I want to show you before we end it. Wow. Wow. That looks awesome, and that flag really helps out. Once we have the doorway, it's going to look really, really good. I'm very, very excited. I want to kind of fix up the windows a little bit, uh, so leave me some ideas that you have for those windows on Twitter. I'd love to see and get your opinions. I didn't add the sign there, or maybe I did. It just hasn't loaded in, but yeah, that looks awesome. There's a few things I would change, but overall, it's, it's looking pretty good. And there's one thing I want to try. I don't know if it's going to work, but... I want to see if we can actually see. We can. Wow. That looks awesome. And once I kind of fix it up a little bit more, you can see the castle and you also see like a little peak of the town. Once it expands out and there's trees and stuff around it, it's going to look freaking awesome. And my plan is to have a pathway through here that leads you in. That is extremely atmospheric. And there's going to be one center tower in the back as well. Once it looks like a complete castle, it'll look amazing. But yeah, that is a finished product for today. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I'm glad that we could build this together. I'm sorry that it was such a choppy episode, but I think it turned out pretty good either way. I'd love to get your opinions on the castle down below. And let me know. I'm just trying to get every single angle I can. This is going to look so cool once it's done. So yeah, <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm just going to kind of get prepared for the little outro here. My name has been System Z. You guys have been awesome. This has been another successful episode of the Minecraft Let's Play. And guys, I just wanted to say thank you again for your patience while I've been sick and just away and working. Uh, I think we've got some really cool episodes made over the past few weeks, and I was very sad to have to not upload for a week. But we're back. 
We're with the schedule, and I've got some cool stuff coming. So, guys, let me know what you think of the castle down below. And without further ado, I'm going to end off the episode. Make sure to subscribe so that way you'll be notified of all future uploads and live streams. I almost lost it, but I got it back. <laughs> and then uh, make sure to leave a thumbs up. My name has been System Z. You guys have been awesome. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.